our new interactive math curriculum for kindergarten. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the interactive math curriculum for kindergarten. Valerie and I worked the last year to put together something that was easy for you to use and cover all the bases. It's a 36 week curriculum, so you've got the whole year planned for you. When you order the curriculum from kindergartenmom.com, it comes in an easy PDF download. You print it out and put it in this cute little binder. Let's take a look inside. The first page you will see is our curriculum overview. This shows you exactly which topics we will cover in the 36 weeks. You will also notice that every fifth week is a review week. At the top of the curriculum outline, you will find our weekly schedule. We have based it around a four day schedule. We have a daily warm up, a lesson sheet, and a follow-up activity or game. So the next couple of pages show you our general setup. Here we have a lesson worksheet, an interactive game or activity, and supplies that you'll need to keep on hand. Most of them you probably have in your house. We also have some optional items to purchase, but they are not required. This explains our review weeks and how they cycle every five weeks. They provide your student with the opportunity to demonstrate mastery. We also have additional printable materials. This is in the appendix and will give you manipulatives that they can use. One of the best parts about our curriculum is that it includes a daily folder. So our daily folder is a simple manila file folder and inside there are activities for students to do each morning as a warm-up. In the general setup pages, we provide you with simple instructions for setting up your daily folder. Each quarter, or every nine weeks, we provide you with new colorful activities you can print out and place inside your folder. These activities correspond with what is being covered in the math curriculum. This chart outlines exactly what you're going to need to cut out and exactly what you're going to add to your folder during each quarter. Below you'll find simple suggestions that will give you teaching prompts that you can work on with your students each morning. So here's an overview of how the daily folder looks after it's been completed. This is four quarters worth of activities. In quarter one, students add a hundreds board to their folder. Children will work on counting forwards, backwards, place value, skip counting, and counting to 100. We also add in our shapes. Students will learn the shape names, the number of sides, corners, and they will look for different shapes that they see in the world around them. Below down here we have a number line. The number line goes to 25. This is very helpful for a lot of the activities as they solve addition and subtraction problems. Finishing out quarter one, we also learn about number words. So here we have a simple chart for students to identify the number with the correct spelling of the number word. Quarter two starts off with students learning 3D solid shapes. They'll learn the shape names, the sides, faces, and the corners. We also included a cute little reminder of left and right for students who might still be working on that. Up here, they will work on the days of the week. They'll learn that there's seven days of the week, the names of each, the order, and how to spell them. We include simple activities such as what day comes before, what day comes after. And the same can be applied over to the months of the year. Students will learn there are 12 months in the year, their order and names. In quarter three, students cut out and assemble their own working clock. Students will use this clock to practice time to the hour, time to the half hour, telling the time, or setting a clock to match the time. Quarter three also introduces US coins. So students will learn the different names for each coin and the coin value. They will also work on adding different amounts of coins up. The final thing for quarter three is making 10. We can call these number bonds or making 10 bonds. Students can work on which memorizing which numbers add up to make 10. 
This is an important skill for them as they progress through their math career. Quarter four begins with students learning the difference between even and odd numbers and simple strategies to identify them. We build on this skill and we bring it over to skip counting. So students will learn to count by twos, fives, and tens by the end of this school year. Place value is also something that is taught during this quarter. We want students to learn that there's hundreds, tens, and ones, and the value of each location. We finish out quarter four by teaching students simple symmetry, as well as capacity and other measurement. After reviewing their daily folder, students will complete one lesson sheet followed by a game or activity. So for example, here is lesson one. Students will work on counting up and writing the number. The follow-up activity, students can either draw apple seeds to match the number, or they can use a Q-tip dipped in paint to paint on the correct amount of apple seeds. Here's another example of a student worksheet. In this case, students are drawing the number, counting, and then framing the number. For the follow-up activity, students will play a spin and frame game. A spin and frame game is super simple to set up. You need a paper clip and a pencil for a spinner. Students will spin and frame the correct amount of counters. So in this case, we got three. So we would frame three, and then we would tally one time that we got a three. Throughout the curriculum, we provide lots of low prep, hands-on activities. So for example, when students are learning about shapes within shapes, they'll complete an activity page, which will be followed up by cutting out and assembling their own shapes. So in this case, students will be able to cut out a square and then cut out two triangles from that square. To ensure that students master each topic, every five weeks we cycle through with a review week. A review week gives students activities that cover what they've learned the previous weeks. So with these Show What You Know pages, the first two activities are from the first week topic. The second two are the second week, the third and fourth, and so on. Each review week, we provide you with four assessment sheets. These are very low key and can be followed by optional daily online games. At the end of the curriculum is our appendix. The appendix includes all of the printable manipulatives you might need during the weekly lessons. So on the front page of the appendix, you'll see that they are listed in a table of contents and it'll tell you the corresponding lessons in which you might use these activities. These are not required. These are all optional activities. So for example, we have hands-on shapes. These are shapes that you could print out onto colored paper and to use them to make patterns or designs. We've got tangrams. We have pictures that they could use to assemble. Some of our games include the use of dominoes. Now we assume that you might have dominoes at your home in order to use them, but we also provide you with printables that you can use should you not have your own set. There are addition flashcards, so students can practice those basic math facts. We have skip counting worksheets, and these are fill in the blanks, so you can use them uh, during many of the weeks, weeks 9, 16, and 27, when you're working on counting by twos, fives, and tens. We also have 3D solids with instructions for how to assemble them. These are super fun, but they do require um, a parent's help. They're kind of difficult to assemble. Once they're assembled, though, they're pretty fun for students to look at. They can see the different faces and all the, uh, the corners and the sides. Near the back, we also have a daily calendar. So our daily calendar is something students can use either starting at the start of the year or as we suggest in January, they can assemble this as they learn the months of the year and the days of the week. So this is a great way for them to have some just natural practice. Base 10 blocks, these are always handy for learning place value. So we've included printable templates you can print on colored paper 
And we include fractions in here. We don't necessarily cover fractions in the curriculum, but they are so much fun to, to work with. And we find that students really love to learn about fractions at any age. Our interactive math curriculum covers 36 weeks. This is a full year curriculum. We have hit all of the kindergarten standards and we even threw in a few of the first grade standards as well. The best news is it's available in a PDF download today. You can start the curriculum now. It's print and go, it's flexible, it's easy to use, and it's fun with hands-on activities. You can find us at thekindergartenmom.com or Craft Classroom.